Hi, welcome to the Sky Studio tutorial series. Sky Studio brings extensive customization without sacrificing performance, so you can build beautiful and engaging content. Today we're going to talk about how to customize the lightning and the thunder. Before we get started, let's make sure we're all looking at the same scene. We ship with a scene inside of Funly Sky Studio, Tutorials, Basic Starter, and I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this simple scene and open it up so I don't modify the original. Let's set up a new sky system in this scene called Sky Studio, Set Up Sky. And let's go ahead and open up the Storm with Heavy Rain preset. So this has installed a new preset. You can see we have our Sky System controller, and it's opened up our Sky profile here on the side for us. Um, we can always access this at any time. We go to the Sky controller and double-clicking the Sky profile here. And this, let's go ahead and just click play and um, we can start talking about everything we're seeing here. So you'll notice we have a nice rainy scene here and we have some lightning with thunder in the background. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume of the thunder down and uh, let's turn it off all the way. And I'm going to turn off the rain volume as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk us through some of these settings um, so that we have something we can just talk about all of them. So the thunder sounds, you can enable or disable the thunder just by toggling this checkbox. Um, the sound effect that's actually tied to the thunder, the thunder is actually found on the art item, which we'll talk about at the end of this video. There's the sound volume, um, which you can you know slide up or down. It's way too loud, so I'm just going to keep it completely off for the length of the uh, tutorial. The sound delay um, mimics kind of how reality, where you see a lightning bolt and it takes some time before you actually hear it. Um, and so this lets you build that in. So the time units here are in seconds, so this is about a little less than half a second um, in delay. Uh, so for example, if you brought it up to I don't know, two, it would be a two second delay before the sound effect would actually fire and you'd hear it. Uh, lightning probability is the probability at which we're going to spawn a lightning bolt. Um, so if you raise this up higher, you're going to start creating more lightning effects. And um, one of the things too, while I'm talking about spawning lightning bolts, you might be wondering, well, okay, well, how does it know where to spawn these lightning bolts? So in your scene, um, I had already positioned it, um, but there's something called the lightning spawn area. So if you go ahead and just select it, you'll notice that there is a, a grid, you'll notice there's a square and you can kind of feel closely you see the flickers of the lightning bolt cards showing up here. The rendering doesn't um, always show up in the scene view for however Unity works, but you'll notice the lightning bolts are spawned in this region. So you can actually go ahead and move this anywhere in your scene, and lightning bolts will always only appear inside of it. You can change the dimensions of this by simply adjusting it here in the lightning area boxes, the X, Y, and Z. So this is you know exactly what you'd think it would be. It's the local objects X. You can do the height of it, and lightning bolts will be taller or smaller based on that. Or you can do Z, which will adjust the depth of the box, as you can see here. So you're not limited just to having one uh, lightning spawn area. You can go ahead and actually create as many of these as you want, as all it is is a script that you can put onto an empty object. Um, or you can just go ahead and uh, duplicate this object. Let's just go ahead and duplicate. Well, then now we actually have two lightning areas. So I can go ahead and just rotate this. And now you'll notice when you look inside the game window, we'll have lightning coming from two different areas. Um, and you can position these around your game wherever you want the lightning effects to be spawned at. So let's go ahead and go back to our sky profile and go through the rest of the options. Let's see, so the cool, so we just talked about the probability, and we've increased the probability now. And you notice as we take the probability up, there's still not a lot of like of lightning and thunder, and there's still a limiting factor on that, and that's called the lightning cooldown. So in this scene, uh, there's a couple different art styles of lightning bolts. You'll probably notice there's the cloud to cloud, and a few different of the typical lightning bolts that go all the way to the ground. And once one of those appears, it has to pass this cooldown period before that lightning bolt can be spawned again. Um, so right now, this is in units in seconds. So it so basically, after you see a lightning bolt, it's going to take two seconds here before we're going to spawn that same exact lightning bolt again. Other bolt lightning bolts can be spawned, but just this one has to cool down. 
If you don't want a cooldown period, uh, you want it to be shorter or longer, you can just adjust this. So now if I bring this to zero, you'll notice now we're starting to get a lot more lightning in the scene. Uh, then you can bring this up, and then now it's kind of just going a little nuts zone. We're getting way too much lightning, but um, but that's fine, just for the sake of demonstration. Usually you want a little bit of a cooldown. It puts the brakes on things a little bit, and it uh, tends to make things look a little nicer. I'll leave it up pretty high so we can talk about the rest. So the lightning intensity is how visible the lightning effect is in the scene. So if it's all the way one, it's all the way visible. And if you bring it down, you'll notice that you have um, more kind of like a transparent lightning. If you bring it all the way to zero, the lightning will be invisible. And it's almost as if it's not in the scene at all. Usually you want it kind of somewhere in the middle, um, so it has a little more of a natural blending effect with the scene. The tint color lets you adjust uh, to the art style of your game. So maybe maybe blue is not the color theme you want. Without having to regenerate all of the art assets and everything, you can just adjust the color right here. So say you want yellow. That's a pretty typical color. Or even more common, how many of you just want white? You don't want blue. That's, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it at white. Uh, then you might be wondering, you're noticing there's different styles of these lightning bolts, and we, we kind of briefly touched on that there's these art lightning bolt art items. And so those are packed into the, what the last option is here, is the art set. And that is the collection of the art resources for these lightning bolts. You can create, one of the really exciting things about Sky Studio is we support extreme levels of customization. We really want you to be able to create your own rain, your own lightning, and your own effects. Um, this is where a lot of other Sky systems differ, where they kind of have a one size fits all, or they go for a pure realism look. Sky Studio is all about customization. So let's take a look at this art set. If you double click it, you'll notice it's just a file in the scene. Uh, then it, it's just an array, it just has four items. And each one of these uh, lightning art items represents a different type of lightning bolt in the scene. Say you wanted to add your own lightning bolt, you could, you could say five. And uh, then you could go ahead and just replace this with uh, your lightning bolt. You can create a new art lightning art item in your scene by just going to Sky Studio, Lightning, Lightning Art Item, and that will create a new empty art item. But for now, let's just take a look at one of the existing art items. I'm going to double click one of these, and that brings up the um, this this lightning bolt's information. You can pro provide a custom mesh if you'd like. By default, we'll use a quad, which uh, just has great performance and is typically fine for most lightning. Um, then you, there's a texture. This has the actual animation um, for the lightning bolt on it. So you'll notice that all of them have some sort of animation. They're fading in and out, or the lightning bolt's dropping from the sky and hitting the ground. This is all baked into the sprite sheet. Let's take a look and open it up. So if I open this up, you'll see this is a cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning bolt. Um, and it starts out with, it's an additive texture, and it's just spaced out with the different sequences of the animation right here. And so this is a four by four sprite sheet. And you notice here we have four rows, four columns, 16, and then I'm animating this at 30 frames per second. You can also adjust the uh, individual color of this lightning bolt. So for example, whenever this lightning bolt fires, you'll notice it'll be red. It's kind of uh, tough to wait for it to happen, but I just saw one a, a moment ago. Let's see if I'm gonna wait for one. There we go, I just saw it. The red's a little difficult to see, but um, it was there. Let's go ahead and put it back to white. Uh, then, right now I was saying this is a cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning bolt, but you get, which means it's a top-aligned, is how we, we define that as top-aligned, but um, you could also have scale-to-fit, which is the other lightning bolts that go from the top to the bottom. This will scale the lightning bolt so it fits perfectly inside of your lightning spawn area. If you want to do a custom sound effect for the thunder, you can supply that here. Uh, then you can do some minor tweaks on the uh, probability, size, and intensity here on a per lightning bolt uh, basis. The values that are in the sky profile are kind of like the master values that will adjust all of them, but you can fine tune the lightning bolts in here. Looks like that concludes the, um, the tutorial on lightning bolts. I can't wait to see what you guys can create with these art sets by creating your own custom uh, sprite sheet textures and meshes. I think it's going to be really exciting. And thanks for tuning in for the Sky Studio tutorial series. Take care.